you might be looking for some tips to help improve your exercise program and things you can eat in your diet to avoid that lactic acid buildup. I'm Charlotte Lawson, a registered and licensed dietitian here in Tampa Bay, Florida. Now, lactic acid happens when our body has exerted all of its energy and stored energy in the form of glycogen and is looking for an alternative process. And typically, lactic acid only happens when we're um, doing our anaerobic exercise. Anaerobic meaning the body is metabolizing and um, accessing our energy when there's no oxygen present. So anaerobic exercises are your short sprints or your weightlifting, um, any sort of flight, or um, fight and flight type um, energy exertion, very quick, versus our aerobic exercises where you're having a longer, slower metabolism and utilization of energy. Now there aren't really any particular foods to eat that can avoid that lactic acid buildup, but my best suggestion would just be to make sure you have enough glycogen stores. Now it's probably going to be really you know, it's hard to say that you can avoid it all together, but by containing enough glycogen stores, your body might not have to turn to the alternative form of energy. So this is kind of like your carb loading, for instance, the night before a big event or a basketball game or a race. Now, don't go overboard with the carbs because, again, lactic acid buildup is almost kind of, you can't, you can't prevent it, I guess, essentially, because it really does depend on the type of exercise you do. Also keep in mind, as your body starts getting used to the type of exercises you're doing, you're less likely to have that um, muscle tearing and that lactic acid buildup. So hopefully those are a couple tips. Really, it tends to be with your exercise program, so maybe you want to switch it up a little bit and add some more aerobic exercise. I'm Charlotte, and eat happy.